Hello, Bluebeam Nation. This is Bluebeam Man coming to you, and we're going to talk today about the erase tool and some cool things you can do with it. There's always a bunch of hidden tricks and tips with that inside of Bluebeam, and I like to uncover all those for you so you can take advantage of them. If you like these videos, feel free to click the like button below, um, subscribe to my channel, and also if you have any requests for videos, feel free to comment in the comment section below. In this video, uh, up at the top, you'll notice that I have pinned this erase icon up here. This also can be found in edits, PDF content, and then there's a whole bunch of edit things in here, but you got erase content right here. Now erase content is pretty cool. If I click on this button, basically what it lets you do, it lets you delete anything on a PDF. So I can left click, hold and drag, let go, and there goes my text, pretty simple. So it's pretty neat being able to say, you know, I want to clean up this drawing and I want to get rid of, let's just say the border and I just want to have the floor plan. I can kind of get my crosshair set up too. And another little tip here inside of this one, the view for the single, the full screen crosshair is really cool. I like to use it a lot when I'm doing things like this. And um, pinning the erase icon is really good also for quick access. Let's say I want to erase the border of this document. I don't know why anyone would want to do that. But let's just say I want just the floor plan to be clean and then maybe I want to snapshot this floor plan and put it somewhere else. But I'm just showing you just some of the features of it. There's another one that's also really cool. So what if you want to erase something but you don't want to have to just draw a, cir a square, you want to kind of cut something out. And let's see if I can find something on this drawing that might be worth doing that. I'll, I'll, just, make, I'll just make one up here. So let's just say I want to, I can go also click, drag, click, drag, click, click, click. And this comes in handy if you have to erase something around another area and you don't want to delete something within a square. So that's a really cool little tip there. Um, it, it also comes in, in handy when, um, when you need to clean up certain things. So if you want to get rid of these offices in here and then you want to replace them, it's a really quick way just to kind of clean up a drawing and then you can like put something else in there or you could retype an office and then off you go. So I really like this erase tool. It's a feature that is kind of commonly um, not used very much. Um, there's also in tools, if you leave the reuse tool off and you click erase, you're gonna click drag and it's gonna go back. Oh wait, is it gonna stay active? Oh, it is. So this one doesn't have any connections to the reuse tool. So that's, that's kind of cool. It just stays on until you left click or until you hit escape and then the erase will turn off. So that is the erase tool. Feel free to use it will. It is super, super handy uh, for cleaning up drawings and just erasing things on a PDF when um, it's not editable. Have a good day, everybody.